Now we need some way of getting our space object cell that was tapped to transmit its data to our new view controller. How do we do this? Well, ever since iOS 5, there's been a method that can accomplish this feat. This method is called prepare for segue, and it passes an argument that's named sender, and it's declared in our UI view controller class. The default implementation of this method does nothing, but it's a great place to include logic right before we switch screens. Let's add this method to our OW outer space table view controller below the view did load method. So we can go ahead and we can return nothing. So we're going to do void and we can type in prepare for segue and I can add my curly braces here. And notice that this method takes two arguments. We first get the argument of the segue and the second argument is ID sender. So what is ID? Well, ID means a pointer to any type of object. So that includes things like NSArray, UI view controller, UI label, any object that we've seen so far, or any object in Objective-C can be of type ID. We'll talk more about this shortly, but just now know that the sender is the object that triggered the segue. In our case, it will be a UI table view cell that is passed as the sender's argument. Notice that this can be a different object under different circumstances. For example, if we had a screen with a button on it, and when we press the button, we went to a different screen or we segued to a different screen or view controller, we would pass UI button in as the sender, and it would be the type of the sender. Let's see exactly when this method is called and what the sender's argument is. Let's go ahead and add a line of code inside of prepare for segue. We can type in NSLog, and we're gonna and it's log an object, so let's use percent at sign since we use this for all objects. And let's NS log our sender argument here. So we can go ahead and run our application. And when we press on one of our cells, we'll be able to call the method prepare for segue. And we see here that the object that prints out is a UI table view cell, and the text was earth because we pressed the earth row. We can also call this method again if we go back and let's choose uh, Saturn this time. And we see again that this method gets called and this time the text is Saturn. So what's happening here? Well, we're actually passing the UI table view cell as the sender and we're able to log that out instead of our method prepare for segue. And this method is automatically called when we segue to a new view controller, and because we're tapping on a UI table view cell to make this happen, the sender's type is UI table view cell.